And this jam is on. Liquor and Split attacking the black of that black wall, trying to fight her way through. Ivana Thrasher's doing a great job of juking her wall of blockers all the way to the inside. However, they seem to close off her hole at the last second. Now Liquor and Split, she's your lead jammer, which means she is in a position now to score some points. Now both jammers are eligible to score points, but a jammer does have to make it through her initial pass before she is able to do so. Liquor and Split, she fought up that inside line and got knocked out of bounds, but she did pass the hips of all four of the opposing blockers and then called it off. That's a quick and clean jam right there. Four points on, all of your skaters still on the track. Great way to start off the game. Super six pack on the line with a star on her helmet. Facing off against Raven Rage for the Guns and Rollers. And everybody's up on the pivot line. Now the first jammer out of the pack, Super Six Pack. She's your lead jammer. She is now in control of the jam and can call it off whenever she wants. It's a really great strate strategic position to have. She's in control of the clock and checking in with her coach, deciding to call off the jam. She picked up all points that she could without making her opponents vulnerable to having points scored on them. And that's what they do. They tap their, hip, their hands on their hips, indicating to the ref that they want to stop the jam after picking up their points. It's not just for doing the dip. Now, in case you're wondering who the rest of those people in the pack are, those are your blockers. You got four from each team out there, and they constitute the pack. Blockers have to really have their awareness about them all times as they have to switch from defense to offense and back again. And they do have to all stay together or within at least 10 feet of each other in order to maintain the pack. Chestnut's picking up a penalty. She will be headed to the Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box for a forearm. Good thinking by Kino Kabam. Not sure whether or not she would get a track cut violation. Dropping back, realizing that since Nuts was going to the box, she could just jump right back in. No points so far being scored for the Guns and Rollers. Ten being put up by the Breakneck Bettys. It's still very, very early. I wouldn't place bets just yet. Oh, no. Once again, back on the line, liquor and split. That is Ivana Thrasher wearing the star for the Guns and Rollers. Liquor and split wanted to play a little bit of defense right off the bat. Something else I'd like to talk about is some penalties. If you pick up a penalty, you will spend the next 30 seconds in the penalty box. Really great job by Liquor and Split, just charging through that wall, earning that lead jammer position. Blockers en engaging in a real foot speed sprint to the front, trying to protect their points. Liquor and Split came in there fast, came in hard, called it off after picking up three more points, creeping them ever closer and in, in, in front of the GNR team. Super six back on the line once again for the breakneck Bettys. Excellent work by her wall. They opened up a hole and got their jammer through. Northern Lights are doing a great job of getting a track cut penalty called against Guns N' Rollers jammer Raina Rage. She's going to have to go and spend 30 seconds in the Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box. Looks like Blood Claudia picking up a low block on the uh, play there. Hit super six back a little bit low, and that's going to send her to the penalty box. Super six back up on the inside line, picking up five points for the breakneck Bettys. Great opportunity for the Bettys to really assert a strong lead in this Power Jam scenario. Another five points for Super Six Pack. Rain of Rage back on the track. Chestnuts was waiting for her and took her out in turn number three.
Penalties right now stacking up against the breakneck Bettys. Tonkin.com, the largest selection of new and used autos in the Pacific Northwest. Only a click away at Tonkin.com. Sweet Jane on the line for the breakneck Bettys. Facing off against Keto Kabam for the Guns and Rollers. Keto Kabam trying to go inside, goes back, ends up on the deck. Juvie Hall with the right idea, trying to set a pick on the nearest threat to her jammer. However, when you've got blockers like Liquor and Split and Chestnuts out there. Looks like Whippet picking up a multiplayer block. That's where you uh, are in connection when a jammer or blocker hits you and uh, you basically stop them by being connected. You got to let go. You got to let go. Hellslinger taking back Sweet Jane, and they're waiting for her back in the turn. Really great job by Hellslinger communicating exactly how far back she had to drop that jammer and then gaining connection with her teammate on a roll. Yeah, on a roll, great defensive work there. Oh, and out of play being called in the back on Liquor and Split. Guns and Rollers doing a great job of manipulating that whole length of the track oh. and jamming Sweet Jane up. Juvie Hall doing a great job up front with the defense, and she really just burned down the time, allowing an opportunity for uh, Kido Kabam to get up and get through. There was a star pass. No, there wasn't. Everyone loves the star pass. She took it off and put it back on. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. But right now, the score, Breakneck Betty's pulling away 37 to nothing on GNR. Bridgetown Chiropractic, the official chiropractor of the Rose City Rollers from the beginning. That's Bridgetown Chiropractic. XOX Northern Lights out for the Breakneck Bettys. Facing off against Ivana Thrasher, who is your lead jammer, racing up that inside line real fast. And that is the first time the GNR team has had lead jammer here. That was some real quick maneuvering by Ivana Thrasher, picking up a couple points while she could, knowing that the gap was being closed behind her. Well, sometimes you just gotta break the seal. Big brothers, big sister sports buddies. Rose City Rollers are proud to be sports buddies partners encouraging young people to get out and get active. Both jammers right now attacking the pack, trying to find a hole through. Nice offensive work trying to come, but unable to stop anyone right now. Ivy Cardi Attack trying to creep around the outside of Payne Goodall, being recycled all the way to the back. Raina Rage, though, picking up a cut track penalty, and she is sent to the penalty box, giving a power jam up to Ivy Cardi Attack. Betty's blockers realizing that there is, it is their only jammer on the track, really wanted doing a great job of slowing the pack down, making it as easy as possible for their jammer to conserve her energy, but still score as many points as possible. Ripley right now has got Hellslinger stuck in the back, making it an easy point for her jammer. Also by having that blocker back there with you, that constitutes the pack. And just like that, the jammer's back on the track. Rain of Rage. Not having a real easy go of it behind that beautiful wall of Betty's, but she creeps her way out. Ren Rage finally out of the pack, and this pack is speeding up. She's fast. I know. Special thanks to OHSU Sports Medicine. OHSU Sports Medicine is proud to be the official medical care team of the Rose City Rollers. Thank you so much. First time on the line, start a ruckus, number 69 with a star on her helmet. And the start of ruckus fans want to start a ruckus. 
I hear it. I heard him. <laughs> Not if Ivana Thrasher has anything to say about it. Ivana Thrasher right now running through everybody, including her own teammates. Finally finds a hole and super six pack. Wow. Swing and a miss. Beautiful deflection by Ivana Thresher. She is a very strong skater. You're going to have to work a little harder to knock her down. That was great offense out there. Uh, Might have got a penalty on automatic weapon, but she got her jammer free. And that's five more points. Four more points. Special thanks to Bike Punk, locally printed eco-friendly stickers, signs, and design. Visit bikepunk.com. Oh, yeah, Bike Punk. Kato Kabam going up against Northern Lights out. She glides them right into the back of her defensive wall. Three on three blockers for the moment, so it is an even matchup. Oh, okay, to Caban, it looks like a back block being picked up. Yes, indeed. Once again, the Breakneck Bettys find themselves in a power jam scenario. Penalties really spelling it out right now for what we're seeing on the track. Wow, skiing around the outside. Northern Lights Out easily scores five points for her Breakneck Bettys. And here comes the offense. Ripley comes in, taking out Ishii on the outside. And now they've got one stuck in the back. When you want offense done, you send Ripley in to do the job. <laughs> she is a powerhouse at offense. Uh, offense, defense, anywhere on the track, Ripley, Ripley can seem to do it. Multitasker. Northern Lights out, comes in hard, engages that wall, and she's just pushing him forward. Still trying to fight her way through. Whip it right now, she's the bridge. Really fierce walls of defense by both teams. Yeah, the circle defense right now playing a part. Goodall tried to take her back. I thought she was gonna step in, but maybe that's a psych. Psych. <laughs> Jammers are working so hard out there Probably really hoping for a little bit of offense, but none of their teammates are in a position to break away, sacrificing their position to do so. Finally, Northern Lights out up front. She picks up four points. Really, they uh, stuck her in there, made her work hard, though, to get out. Hard fought four points, that's for sure. Henri and Wicket, whip it, both picking up a penalty, and they are in the penalty box. Special thanks to New Belgium Brewing Company, Fat Tire Ale, or Ranger IPA. Either, both, they're all available at concessions. Head on over, get some, it's tasty. Two fists in it right there, why not? Well, you got two hands for a reason. Yes, it is. Looks like there's gonna be an official review.
All right, kids, we also got the raffle down there. I see my raffle vixen waving them tickets all around. Make sure you get in on it. It's going to be a good basket today. All right, just if you're curious as to know what's going on, first time out was just to uh, abscond a player from the box. She had punished herself and sent herself there. She did not deserve to be there. Because you've done that before, Layla, right? I'm not that honest. <laughs> I saved that for my diary, not the penalty box. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this action back underway. Rain of Rage, Liquor and Split. Those are your jammers in this jam. Liquor and Split crashing through that inside hard. She is your lead jammer, Breakneck Bettys. Rain of Rage still trying to fight her way through. Chevy up front, knocking her around. That defense is there. They play too much offense, and Liquor and Split is way too fast for that. Wow, she cut right up that inside line. Realizing how easy she made it look, Raina Rage decided to jump on that jet stream, and she is hot on her heels. Well, it was a foot race to the back, and I Licker wisely called it off because she knew that other jammer was right behind her. I'm out of breath just watching them. But I'm working up an appetite, so I'm going to head over to Joe's Burgers. There are four convenient locations, Awesome Burgers, and the official feeder of the Rose City Rollers Volunteers. Thanks, Joe's Burgers. If you guys haven't heard me say that this season yet, I love that place. <laughs> Wearing the star for the Breakneck Bettys is Sweet Jane. Sweet Jane. She's up against Ivana Thrasher. Ivana Thrasher right now getting knocked around and unable to find a hole to get through. Great job by Automatic Weapon covering that inside line. Multiplayer block being called on the Bettys. Looks like Automatic Weapon heading to the penalty box. Ivana Thrasher checking in to make sure she is still wearing the star that gives her the power to score points. Sweet Jane runs in. She picks up all four on that pass. If you're looking for a light snack before dinner, have a kind bar. Snack like there's no tomorrow. They so, are kind of tasty. They're super delicious. A brand of all-natural whole nut and fruit bars made from ingredients you can see and pronounce. Yum. Delicious. Kind of want one right now. Kind of want to put one in my mouth. O always a little hungry for a snack. Kato Kabam on the track. She finds her way through on that inside line, and she's your lead jammer. Northern Lights out scoring for the breakneck Bettys. Trying D to weave her way around that last line of defense. Deluxe picking up a direction of play penalty. She was going the wrong way and made contact. GNR fans, put your hands together for those four points. Special thanks to Bridgetown Automotive. When quality counts, call Bridgetown Automotive. Support Rose City Rollers while taking great care of your car. Two birds, one stone. Hey, we're on. IV Cardi Attack on the line for the Breakneck Bettys. Raina Rage is back, but she's got Jessica Chestnut she's got to deal with. Baba Boom cruising out of that penalty box just in time to play some pretty good offense for her jammer. Uh, cut on the track. It looks like, oh, Rain of Rage. So we will have a change in the guard as you know, as soon as she sits down, IV Cardi Attack will be released. Ripley doing a great job of picking Artemis Fellmouth away from her wall, working her hardest to keep him separated. Well, Ripley was on it. She was trying to call her pack back, but they uh, were focused on that jammer. And Artemis Falmouth doing a great job recycling her way to the front of the pack just in time to assert herself with her wall and knock down that jammer. That was really great timing. IV Cardi Attack coming in pretty hot and heavy, taking out Vava Boom, but Vava Boom is back up and in the front ready to play some more derby.
Reign of Rage getting snuffed in the back right now. She is going nowhere very fast. Multiplayer block being called on Ripley. Deluxe doing a great job of breaking away to just try and play a little bit of offense for her jammer where she could, turning her attention back to the opposing jammer. Here comes the offense. That was executed perfect. The entire team enveloped the breakneck Bettys and got their jammer out. That was a great pick by all of GNR. And we have... Not if Hellslinger has anything to say about it. Huge hit, oh. dropping automatic weapon just as she was affixing that star cap. We had a star pass, automatic weapon got it. Might have got hit in the chops, uh, but we got five points for each team on the board. Voodoo Donuts, the magic is in the hole. Proud sponsor of the Rose City Rollers and the Wheels of Justice, that's Voodoo Donuts. I've heard of that place. I've had a donut or two from there, if you can't tell from my fat tire around my waist here. Starter Ruckus is the only jammer on the track right off the line for the Breakneck Bettys and your lead jammer. Honor Roll did not want to let her go, but she's got to, according to the ref. Starter Ruckus came in hot. She's almost got her way through, but that defense locked her down, and a forearm is called. I don't think she liked the call, but she's going to the penalty box anyways. You don't have to like it. You just got to do it. That's right. Go like, sit down, take a rest, like enjoy laundry. some frosty Paps Blue Ribbon. Betty's doing a great job of hammering away at Payne Goodall. Yep, that defense is down, and they are still fighting her. Super six-pack. Doing a great job playing double duty as a blocker out there tonight as well. Low block being called on Chevy. That's going to leave two blockers up front. Oh, but it's super six-pack in liquor and split, so there you go. Wow, Starter Ruckus had the afterburners on. She's through for five points. She got those points all on her own. Good job, yo. Ooh, and it one. took a hot second, but we finally have a successful star pass. Payne Goodall is now the jammer for the Guns and Rollers, Ooh. facing off against Liquor and Split. Wow, did you see that one foot around that corner there? That was incredible. That was something. And the entire pack, well, Super Six Pack's back out there, but I thought all of the blockers now for the Bettys have ended up in the penalty box in this jam. I do not know what they are giving away in that penalty box, but guys, it's not worth it. I think they heard me talking about the Frosty Paps Blue Ribbon being given out there. There and, are uh, none over there. Uh, yeah, they're all below us in the foyer here. Paps Blue Ribbon, not in the penalty box, just down below, ladies. But when there are a couple minutes left at halftime, we will be giving away an amazing raffle basket. Be sure to buy your raffle tickets while you can. This Ivana is Thrasher it. running up. Oh, nice work by Automatic Weapon. Taking her out on that inside line. Beautiful teamwork by Automatic Weapon and Chestnuts. They're covering that inside. Wow. Chestnuts. Just vicious. Vicious and graceful. Oh. Ivana Thrasher squeaking by on one wheel. The whistle might have been blowing, but uh, I don't think Liquor and Split cared. You know, if you've got to have one person on the track, that person really might as well be Liquor and Split. Great job holding down the fort out there. Also great job by PDX Pipeline, because it's your online resource for Portland's music, arts, and events happenings. What's like, happening? 
Like, like right now, it's all happening, guys. Well, it's happening right here. And speaking of what's happening, Sweet Jane is playing some defense on Keto Kabam. Beautiful defense by Sweet Jane, delivering Keto Kabam to her wall of trusty blockers. Yep, she did not want her coming in hot and heavy. She wanted it slow. Oh, and Ripley picking up a forearm. I expected that whistle to be a cut, but no. That was some beautiful juking by Keto Kabam. And penalties right now really racking up for the Bettys. Guns and Rollers, how about getting behind your lead jammer? Four points being picked up by Keto Kabam. She's going to go ahead and call it up and relish the moment. Uh, cars to go. Meet the future of car sharing at cars2go.com. Special thanks to Kelly Brown. Kelly Brown loves roller derby. Guess what? We love Kelly Brown, so it works out real well. And Payne Goodall right now on the line, and she's already dishing out some love, taking out Starter Ruckus. Starter Ruck is doing a great job of hitting that wall hard, picking apart those guns and rollers. Starter Ruck, as she's out front, she's your lead jammer. Juvie Hall doing a great job of dropping back and playing some quick O for her jammer. Yeah, but while they were playing O, Starter Ruckus capitalized on everyone looking the other way. It's real easy to get real distracted out there on the track. Wow, super six pack coming in hard, picking up a forearm. Payne Goodall picking herself up and saying, nope, I'm done with you. Well, that was conveniently located for her. <laughs> Payne Goodall, well, she's up against Chut Chuts again. And this defense is locking her down. Jammer's trying to move walls. Started a ruckus and found the end of... Uh, Juvie Hall there, she could not stop her. Try to contain her. Starter Ruckus is out, picking up four for five more points. Chestnuts and Deluxe just taking their turn with Payne Goodall. Oh, and Chestnuts picking up a penalty. She's gonna be camped out in the Paps Ribbon penalty box. But five more points for Starter Ruckus. Betty's doing a great job of not only making the opposing jammer work that much harder, but in bringing her all the way back, it's making the distance for their jammer to cover that much shorter. So she gets to conserve her energy while still scoring points. Oh, start a ruckus. Hit in the back of Whippet. And she said to the penalty blue box. So she whipped it good. Yes, she did. I get it now. <laughs> All right. And my prize should be getting to go to the Buffalo Gap Saloon and Eatery, John's Landing's favorite eatery and saloon, for when you're craving not just dinner, not just at a restaurant, but an eatery. You know, it's really close to Oaks Park, and it's really good. We're, we're there, and we're here. It's so I know. close. All by herself. Ivana Thrasher out there right now trying to thrash her way through the line and a power jam. Oh, Beautiful wow. effort by Ivana Thrasher. Surfing her way around liquor and split at the top of the pack. I she is your lead jammer. Just going to say an equally great job by liquor and split to jump out there and try to stop her. Absolutely. Caught a little piece of her too. Wow. Look at the trucks on Ivana. Five points. I'm really liking this. Got to make sure accessories are all still in place and score points at the same time. That is multitasking, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and look Beautiful. at that. Beautiful. Creeping oh. around that inside to score those points. Ivana Thrasher picking up some points. I'm liking the uh, surge of energy right here. She's one of my favorite jammers. There, I said it. <laughs> Nightlight Lounge, Row City Rollers' favorite Clinton Street bar and the only place to get Row City Rollers tickets in town. Without service fees. 
cash money. No fee? No fee. No fee roller derby? Just what? delicious french fries. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, it's five on five. No one's in the penalty box? They must have realized there's no beer down there. <laughs> Real talk. Northern Lights Out is your Lee Jammer. Can't Breakneck Betty's fans, how do you feel about having Lee Jammer status? Awestruck. Awestruck. I think that's what that was. Lights Out now being iced right now behind a large black wall. But oh, super six pack with the offense. Opened up the hole, and that's five more points. Beautifully timed offense. Uh-uh, Blood Claudia was like, nope, you're not coming through here again. Blood Claudia doing a great job of holding down that inside line like she does. Kato Kabam still trying to fight her way through on her initial pass. And that's some incredible blockers out there just locking her down. Kato Kabam looking for a little bit of help but realizing that she's got to turn her attention to... Point prevention. Oh, Blood Claudia was up there. Could not contain her, though. Kato Kabam, still in her initial jam. Ripley, fond of brawls. Jessica oh, Chestnut. Oh, and Juvie Hall, and she got out on a star pass. She's got the cap. She's running. I thought they were going to get her. She's got some speed on her, too. She got some points. Good. Yeah, you celebrate those points, girl. You got yeah. those points. That's three points. And none for Gretchen Wieners. And I believe Ripley got skating out of bounds. Special thanks to McDonald's Miller. McDonald's Miller Facility Solutions. Proud sponsor of the Rose City Rollers. I'd also like to thank Hope Baraka Realtor, helping Polaners buy and sell their dream houses. First time on the line, Erin Ishii. Tiptoeing her way around. She's got some great control of those footstops. Well, she got introduced to Liquor and Split. Liquor and Split said, no, you go out here. And Sweet Chang saying, hey, don't forget about me because I'm your lead jammer. Uh, penalty being called. Liquor and Split headed to the penalty box on a low block. And Erin Ishii, she's out. She's smiling and having a good time. Because who doesn't like roller derby? I, I do. I hope you do. You know who else does? Timothy Murray. Timothy Murray Photography. Visit timothymurrayphotography.com for classic black and white film derby images. It's halftime. Everybody, go get yourself some nachos. Go get yourself some beer. Get your merch. And we're going to come down and have a good halftime show and a raffle. Wearing the star for the Guns and Rollers is none other than Juvie Hall. Well, she had so much fun the first time, she wanted to do it again. And she makes it look good. She is giving Chestnuts a run for her money at the front of the pack. And she is your late jammer. Run away, Juvie, run away. Start a ruckus, though, being stuck in the back. That was on a roll, holding her up. Uh, Great job okay. out there. Okay, not Lee J. Oh, and a back block being called on Juvie Hall. She knows she did it. She's nothing but grins. I like accountability, and I like watching those jammers and blockers work so hard out there. This jam will go a full two minutes. On a roll, getting taken out. By Jessica Chestnuts. Chestnuts doing a great job. Breaking on a roll away from her wall, keeping them apart, controlling that speed. Ripley right up in the mix of it. Here comes Liquor and Split. Man, the offense just enveloped that team and ate them alive. I got to give a lot of credit to the blockers that also play as jammers. I find that those blockers just have the most impeccable offensive timing. They know exactly when it should happen. They're just intuitive because they're so used to wearing the star. Yeah. Juvie Hall right now getting taken back. She's got Ripley and Licker both back there holding on to her. Ripley, Licker, Deluxe, and Chestnuts. That is a wall of red I would not want to have to go up start against. A, start a ruckus just kind of glided through there. 
Not quite sure how she was so graceful and yet so got through. Talent. Practice. Talent and practice. All right. Ripley just demolishing Juvie and putting her in the apex. This jam comes to an end. I'd like to thank Secret Aardvark, Viva Le Hardvark. I also want to give a special Rose City Rollers welcome and shout out to Dave's Derby Demons. Dave's Derby Demons, you're out there somewhere. Hope y'all are having a good time with us this evening. Kato Kabam on the line. She hits that red wall and is just trying to fight her way through. Northern Lights out, tiptoeing her way up the inside and then quickly on the out. She is your... No, she is no, not. No, she is not, but it's a foot race now. Kato Kabam is uh, trying to fight her way through. That's a good call off. Kato saw that her team was in the back, called it off. Might as well conserve your energy. Eco Construction, the friendly people of Eco Construction love custom home building, remodels, and roller derby. I'd also like to say hi to Sink or Swim. Sink or Swim is in the house. Drop it like it's hot. Is that a sink thing or a swim thing? Oh. hi -o. Sweet Jane wearing the star for the Breakneck Bettys. Ivana Thrasher, she's in the middle right now. She's getting pushed out on the inside. Lots of hitting, lots of falling. It's five on five for the moment. I want to cherish, and I jinxed it, and it was so brief. Wheat Jane, she's out front. She's your lead jammer. Ivana Thrasher right now trying to catch back up in that pack. Sweet Jane looks over her shoulder, calls it off. And what do you got there, Layla? You know, I want to thank some of our favorite sponsors. They are the Portland Mercury, Portland Vital Signs, City Graphics, K's Bar, who provided the Derby Nachos, and that's pretty much it. And we love you. Yes, we do. Wow, a little duet from me and Layla. <laughs> who would have known that was going to happen tonight? You should expect it every night, though. Juvie Hall on the line once again. Glides in and is bumped out on the inside line. Juvie Hall facing off against a wheel of death by the Breakneck Bettys, having to split apart, and she finally found her way around. Juvie Hall managed to stay inbound. She's picking up and laying them down, trying to get back around. Breakneck Bettys Jammer coming in so hot, catching a little tip of her own wall, having to call off the jam. We'd also like to thank CrossFit Bauhaus. It's pretty great. It's CrossFit Bauhaus. Other gyms use machines. We build them. CrossFit Excellence, helping the Bettys continue to break necks and dreams. <laughs> it's like they all kind of paused and waited for it to happen. Starter Ruckus on the line in your star. Starter Ruckus is your lead jammer. Yeah, she came out and got called while she was on the ground. Quite an unusual start. If that ain't a reason to dust yourself off and get up and start scoring points, I don't know what is. Rain of Rage still stuck in the pack. That defense is walloping her right now. And score points, Starter Ruckus will. That is five more points for her. She is doing a really great job racking up that score for her breakneck Bettys. Well, the offense came. Hellslinger called everybody back together, and they've got the jammer right now. Not letting her go very far, very fast. Chevelle, six-pack, and chestnuts really giving thrash. Oh! Rage the what for? Starter Ruckus getting a call, blocking with the head. She will be hitting to the penalty box. I think it's safe to say right now there was a star pass. <laughs> it's, well, I wouldn't want to spoil it for anyone. I think uh, the However, Betty's... I can confirm. We need to remember, though, oh. that, that 
person that is holding it is not yet in a position to score points. Lights out. She uh, knocked her out of bounds, but she was not the last line of defense. Jessica Chestnut, now she wants her. She's taking a bit advantage of knocking her around. Payne Goodall. She was the cream filling of a red Oreo cookie there, but she managed to come on out. Red Velvet. <laughs> red Velvet. Yes. There's a lot of hitting going on out there. I like that. Old school. And it looks like legal hitting, that is the best kind of hitting. This jam comes to an end. I'd also like to thank Moreland Vision Source. They are a wonderful Break Thank Betty sponsor, as well as American Family Insurance, Kenneth Hart Agency, Kelly's Olympian, and Adam Wheels. Thank you guys for doing all that you do so everyone on the track can stay rolling. Sweet Jane on the track. She hits that pack hard, knocks everybody around, but then finds her own locker war. Liquor and Split celebrating as she is the one responsible for getting Ivana Thrasher to uh, cut the track hey. and go and serve some time in the penalty box. Hey, it's a power jam, and that Paps Reuben penalty box is a little bit full. Five more points being picked up by Sweet Jane. Betty's blockers doing a great job of checking in with each other and communicating that they do have a goading opportunity. And Licker and Sweat yet again getting one of her opponents to cut that track. Wow. Wow, she just psyched out the whole blocker pack. Everybody jumped forward. And Henri, the last line of defense then, Sweet Jane, made an easy five points. Sometimes just the threat of a hit from Licker is all she really needs to do. She's that good and fierce. Well, you know, Licker is a little fierce. Laurelhurst Theater and Pub, the best of modern cinema, independent, and art classic films to Derby and Portland movie lovers everywhere. I also want to thank X-Ray FM. They love roller derby, and I love X-Ray, so you need to listen to them at 107.1 FM. Keto Kabam wearing the star one more time this evening for her guns and rollers. Wow, the Betty's defense just vicious tonight, and they have not let up the entire time we have been out here. Keto Kabam real close to working her way around Deluxe. Deluxe picking up a penalty in that little scrum there. This is a great opportunity for Keto Kabam to put some points up for her guns and rollers with the majority of the Betty's blockers sitting in the Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box. Ah, Keto Kabam found the light of day on the outside and she picks up four points. Juvie Hall catching a little bit of Ivy Cardi attack on that outside. Nice. Reasserting herself on the inside. Way to close that door. That was perfectly executed and right now they've contained her in the pack. Really beautiful awareness by Juvie Hall there. Punishing the jammer in the back of the pack, recycling her way up to the front inside and reasserting her dominance against that jammer. Finally, IV Cardio Attack gonna call that off. I also want to thank Wired Eye Repair. Wired Eye Repair, your mom's favorite smartphone tablet repair shop since 2010. And if you're watching us from home, you're watching on Blaze Streaming Media. Great place to watch is uh, from your couch if you're watching. And uh, that's one of my favorite places if I'm not announcing. My couch is pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Start a ruckus on the line. She's trying to battle her way through right now. Oh, almost got there. And now she's your lead jammer. Raina Rage getting caught up in a scrum, trying to find an answer on that inside, but being met by Northern Lights Out. Wow. Just a vicious defensive wall. 
That is some amazing offense by Erin Ishii. She just flew on in up that inside. Raina Range now in the penalty box. She picked up a forearm, and uh, that's going to make her sit for the next 30 seconds. Wow. That was a beautiful deflection by Starter Ruckus. I wish I could do that. I mean, if you worked as hard as these fine athletes out there did, maybe one day, King. Maybe one maybe day. Maybe one day. Starter Ruckus, she managed to find a hole on that outside, picks up five more points. Breakneck Betty's blocker Spank doing a great job of communicating with her fellow teammates when that jammer was coming out of the pack, giving a great blocker assist. And just like that, Rena Range just through the pack. Starter Four. Ruckus is fast. Sakatumi, be awesome, we're awesome at Sakatumi.com. You know what else is awesome? That we are sponsored by Shebop which is a female-friendly sex toy boutique in none other than your hometown of Portland, Oregon. Thank you, Shebop. Thank you, Shebop. Special thanks to Bridgetown Chiropractic, the official chiropractor of Rose City Rollers since the beginning. Avada Thrasher jumps out there. She's fighting hard against that three wall. In the back, though, Sweet Jane having problems of her own trying to fight through that wall of black. Ivana Thrasher is your lead jammer. Guns and Rollers fans, are you out there? Let's hear some support for Ivana Thrasher. Wow, they got that pack all spread out. Liquor and Split is sitting in the box. And uh, that was a real easy five points for Ivana Thrasher. Maybe she's got a taste for more. And she does, and she's gonna take five more, creeping her way on that inside. Sweet Jane taking out pain, or being taken out by Payne Goodall, and she's gonna start way back again. Guns and Rollers doing a great job of kind of accordioning themselves from a fan position back into a wall just in time to greet Sweet Jane as she emerged from the penalty And it box. is a scoring frenzy. Wow. Wow. Beautiful love tap by Artemis Foulmouth. Big Brothers Big Sister Sports Buddies is proud to be a sports buddy partner with the Rose City Rollers, encouraging young folks to get out and get active. And our hardworking officials out there have been working so hard to keep everything so clean and tidy, we haven't even had an opportunity to give a special taco time out. Thank you to Poor K. No. Unless you want to call it. Yeah. I was just going to say. I think I just You probably just invoked the power. Is it happening? <laughs> no. Oh, wait. <laughs> it is a Poor K. No time out. <laughs> well, if not, then I'm just going to go ahead and say... Tonkin.com, only click away at Tonkin.com. Well, I'm still gonna talk about how much I love Poor Kano. Amazing tacos with two locations on Mississippi and Hawthorne. And now for a Magic Pony Music Minute.
outside, and here it goes. Kato Kabam out there in a power jam. She's right now trying to fight her way through. The offense came, but those two blockers, Super Six Pack and Ripley, uh, wanted no part of that offense. I liked that that collapsing pillar strategy that the Guns and Rollers employed there. You mean sausage? Sausage. Sausage. I'm trying not to offend any of our beloved vegetarian and vegan fans out there. There's vegan sausage. That, that ain't sausage. <laughs> Atlanta gentlemen. SmackDown knows one thing. She knows her beef. <laughs> Keto Kabam. Getting the what fur from a Whipley and Deluxe and Super Six Pack. Oh, that was very nice. Northern Lights out, just batter ramming her way through. Bodies are on the floor. This jam comes and it went in. Three points being put up. Super special thanks to OHSU Sports Medicine for immediate care for Rosalie Rollers athletes through our Sports Medicine hotline at 503 494 4000. Bike Punk, locally printed, eco-friendly stickers, signs, and designs. Visit bikepunk.com. Erin Ishii jockeying for position on that jammer line. IV Cardi attack. She ran square into that triangle defense, and there she's out of bounds. Chestnuts ever so gracefully escorting her opposing jammer exactly where she wants to be. Vava, oh. boom, setting not only a huge pick on Jessica Chestnuts, but getting back in time to level Ivy Cardi Tech. I think you said that wrong. It's Vava, boom. Wow, you're right. That was amazing. Somehow, with all that action on the inside, Aaron Ishii is out first, and she's your lead jammer. Henri charging full steam ahead to throw a little bit of an O in for her jammer. One point being picked up by the breakneck Bettys. One point being picked up for your guns and rollers. That's a tie jam. And New Belgium Brewing, Fat Tire Ale, Ranger IPA. You can always grab one at concessions every time you come here. You can buy me one after the bout. Yes, you can. Not during the bout, but after the bout. Yeah, we don't want to listen to Layla rambling after... She'd been, you he know. mean it gets worse than this? <laughs> Juvie Hall on the line, trying to fight through that outside. Yep. Thought she had a little path on that outside, and the automatic weapon says, nah, -uh, I don't think so, lady. Nope. Welcome to the blocking style of automatic weapon. Beautiful hit by Payne Goodall. Shutting Starter Ruckus on that outside. She finds her way in. She is your lead jammer. Yes, she did. Juvie Hall. Oh, oh, thought she came in good, and there was too much of booty there. No, no, you have a cut. I'm not even sure Automatic Weapon realizes what she just did, so good job out there. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't think she realized it. Kudos. Or she's modest, and that should be celebrated as well. Here comes the O. And that was more than enough to get Starter Ruckus through for five more points. That was really well-timed offense by Fonda Brawls out there. Just kind of zoomed her way through that wall. I think she agreed with you. Super six pack up front. Oh, that was excellent work picking off Goodall and Hellslinger. Made it easy. And look at Starter Ruckus all skating backwards and pretty. Well, you know, if she's still got the energy to lay her fancy footwork out there, people paid good money to be here tonight, why not? Hellslinger wanted no part of that offense. Ronda Brawls was coming, and Hellslinger sat her down. GNR doing a great job of turning their attention to offense just as they see Juvie Hall emerging. Oh! Wow! Oh. Beautiful work oh. by Artemis Foulmouth, shutting down that hole on the inside line. Yes, she did. Artemis Foulmouth takes her out on the outside. Wow! That was a long, hard-fought jam. Yes, it was. Kind Bars, the brand of all-natural whole nut fruit bar made of ingredients you can say and pronounce that is Kind Bars. Joe's Burgers, four locations, Awesome Burgers, official feeder of our wonderful yellow-shirted volunteers. I think that might be the King's Dinner tonight right there, Joe's Burgers. Looks like there's officially finger pointing at the elbows or at the shoulders.
Well, that was a very quick t uh, stop there. And look at the star pass. Northern lights out up front. She's got the star. But in that case, you are not eligible for lead jammer status. But with all of that energy conserved, she could probably go the full two if she needed to. And hopefully no coaches are uh, going to have coronaries on the track this evening. She but got no lead guarantees. Jam. I think her bench wanted her to call it off. She had lead jam and uh, ended up going to the penalty box. See, I went ahead and jinxed it again. I said something about needing to go the full two minutes. This jam will be going the full two minutes, ladies and, and gentlemen. There is four, <laughs> four players right now in that penalty box. You must think they're serving drinks again. The penalty box bar is closed. Abana Thrasher and Party are the only two blockers out there on the track. Ivana Thrasher doing a phenomenal job of recycling lights out all the way to the back. And watch as her wall might grow. Beautiful Whoa. offense yet again by Licker and Split. Seeing who the next immediate threat to her jammer was, neutralizing her, easily allowing Northern Lights out to find her way around the inside. I love it when people jump that little, do a little hop skip over that uh, line. And that one's got springs in her feet, that Northern Lights out. Oh, yeah. And it looks like we have a track cut penalty called against Northern Lights Off. Oh, and I like it. They pass the star. Ivana Thrasher's got it. Three points being scored. This jam comes to an end. Just the jam. Bridgetown Automotive. When quality counts, call Bridgetown Automotive and support the Rose City Rollers while taking care of your car. Call them up, and when you pick your car up, Head on over to Voodoo Donuts. You know about Voodoo. Yeah, the magic's in the hole. That's what I hear. So when it's not a full sauce, oh no, no, it is a full sausage. Just a little, little hip bump was all Juvie Hall needed to do to ensure Erin Ishii to be your lead jammer. Well, she is smiling away, and she should be. She just got lead jam, and she is still fighting for those more points. Guns and rollers preoccupied with Offense. Yeah, they were having too much fun, though, playing offense, and uh, lights out got through. I mean, I don't blame them. Offense is fun, but you really got to be able to wear multiple hats. Wow. There was a lot going on there. Speaking of a lot going on, the Rose City Rollers is proud to be a sports buddy partner of Big Brothers Big Sister Sports Buddies. They encourage young folks to get out and get active. First time on the line, automatic weapon. This jam is on. Raina Rage facing off against a slender wall of Betty. However, Fonda Brawls and Chevelle doing a heck of a job holding down that fort all on their lonesomes. Chevy getting called without a play. But hey, look, it's automatic weapon for your lead jammer. Breakneck Betty's fans, make some noise. Wow. And yeah, she got taken out on that line. There's only one blocker though. That's Fonda Brawls. There is a lot of cluster going on out yep. there. Yep. And I want to say someone might have just had to uh, leave. Don't know for sure yet. OHSU Sports Medicine. They're a proud sponsor of the, and the proud medical team of the Rose City Rollers. That's OHSU Sports Medicine. I believe they're going to have a poor K no timeout. 
located on Mississippi and Hawthorne with two great locations and a fantastic taqueria. That's Port K. No. And this jam is on. Super six pack on the line. She comes in hard. And she's your lead jammer. Facing off against Juvie Hall for the Guns and Rollers. Chestnuts escorting her outside. You go here. Once again, Chestnuts is the gatekeeper of turn one. But Juvie Hall finally finds an answer on that inside. Wow. Man, there is a fight going on up front. Avana Thrasher and Super six pack. Couple of veterans out there, man. It was, woo! Oh. What's happened? At the end of that back block being called. Juvie Hall, though, having a good time with it. She was, I think, maybe wondering if she could mess her hair up. There's no time to worry about things like that. I always wonder if I mess my hair up. What well, are you talking about? Well, I'm gonna here to tell you that you are. Because Helmet Head loves everybody equal. <laughs> Starter Ruckus on the line all by her lonesome. It's a block of war, a four on four. And Starter Ruckus managed to find the light of day. She's your lead jammer. That inside line is the shortest distance around. That's why the jammers favor it so much. Wow. Taking out all the blockers. A little bit of offense came, and that's all she needed. Starter Ruckus has really, really been a standout jammer for the Breakneck Bettys tonight. Wow, she came in the back of paying good all and ended up on her tush. Nice bridge work being laid down. Starter Ruckus. Oh, she is called with a forearm. Guns and oh. Rollers blockers doing a great job of uh, checking in and playing some quick offense. Starter Ruckus did not listen or did not hear. The ref does not matter. She will be serving a full minute. So Juvie Hall, she's got the next minute to score as many points as she wants to. She also has all four blockers on the track for her. And here comes the O. Oh, speaking of the O. There, there it was. <laughs> I seen it. Maybe that was an ouch. Well, you can't spell ouch without O. Ah, uh, that is true. Juvie Hall finally finds her way through, and that's five more points. They're lined up. They're scoping out the uh, opposition. And once again, Payne Goodall comes in. Sweet Jane, last line of defense. Juvie Hall surfing her way around that turn one, picking up another handful of points for her guns and rollers. Oh! Sideways sidling in that wall, worked to her advantage. But not at that last second. Deja vu all over again at the last second of that jam. Juvie Hall being sent to the penalty box for a track cut. One would think she enjoyed wearing that star. Who doesn't like a star? I like accessories as much as the next person. I know, right? Jamming for another two minutes in a row. Right. Not worth the accessory. I, uh, you know. She ain't no holler back, girl. <laughs> Ivy Cardi attack all by herself out there. She's in a power jam. Having a fight through the defensive struggle of 
What is the Guns N' Rollers? Artemis Foulmouth really, really serving as an important blocker for the Guns N' Rollers tonight. Her timing has been really on point, and she has not easily given up her points to the opposing jammers at any point this evening. Another five points being put up by IV Cardi Attack. Once again, some beautifully timed offense from Fonza Brawls. Wow. Hellslinger back there trying to play a little bit of O. Oh, Jessica Chestnuts, though. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we are in the final stages of tonight's bout, the last bout of the regular season. Make some noise if you're having a good time tonight. Let's hear some support for your teams. Juvie Hall made her way through, and Ivy Cardi attack. Just what I thought. She called it off after picking up one point. The death throes of the evening. I like that. Got a sexy ring to it. I can hear the Reaper tap tapping at my door. And the sexiness went away. Looks like Liquor and Split has fouled out of the game. She's uh, done for the night. I think she's done enough damage for the day. Raina Rage hitting that wall of red sideways. No call, no pack being called. They have to let her go, and she's your lead jammer. Raina Rage has her last opportunity to put up a bunch of points for Horror Guns and Rollers. Oh. A valiant track jumping effort made. You can't nail them if you don't try them. Oh, but unfortunately, it looks like, oh, nope, nope. I was going to call something. She thought she had cut the track. I can understand why she would have been confused. Well, now she's gotten right on through. Five points being scored. Super Six back out there. She hits that wall hard. Henri and Vava, boom, taking their turns with Super Six Pack. Oh, Blood Claudia, multiplayer block. She set it to the box. Jammer foot race at hands. Oh, Super Six Pack coming, man. crashing in hard, dropping Henri oh. while she's at it. Let the bodies hit the floor there. Super Six Pack picking herself up after a big melee attack. Thrills and spills. Super Six Pack skating her way by, getting out of that hot mess. <laughs> it was a hot mess, boy. And just like that, Ivana Thrasher's got the star in her hand, and she skates to freedom. No stranger to jamming her face off, Ivana Thrasher. Takes the half for Guns and Rollers. Vonna Thrasher getting taken out by Spank and jumps right back in there. Let the attack continue. I think she got through. She got her four points, and we come to an end. Unofficial final right now. 336, 114. Me and Layla are going to head down to the track and do the MVPs. Don't go anywhere. All right, we can start with the GNR captains, Keto Kabam and Whip It Good. And who have Guns N' Rollers selected to be the Breakneck Betty's most valuable blocker of the game? Chestnuts! Jessica Chestnuts, you are the MVP blocker. Well earned, I might add. And who have Guns N' Rollers selected to be the most valuable jammer of the game? Ruckus! Start a ruckus. How does she has any energy left after that game? I have no idea. All right, Betty's. So who do we have? Who do we have for the MVP? <laughs> Wow. Starter Ruckus is thrashing over there. Who do we have for the MVP blocker? Ba ba boo! Ba ba boo! All right, and for the jammer. Our MVP jammer is Keto Kabam! 
Keto Kabam. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming out and sharing this Saturday night with us. For me, Layla Smackdown, and everybody who helped put this on, thank you very much. Have a great night. <laughs>